but I don't know. It looked, it looked like he definitely had damage. And there we go, actually. So we are going to get going. In fact, Guillaume, we're going to find out in just a second. It would have been now. a miracle to get out of the convincing without any damage on the chassis for Carrotton, if I mean. I think so, yeah. I mean, they were, they were running back. Some of the mechanics were running back to, to see if they could get the cart going. There are the mechanics now coming back across to uh, exit the circuit. It's now going to be a 20 lap race rather than a 21 uh, lap race and I'll hand over to Guillaume to now talk us through the grid. Let's get back uh, for a quick look. Of course, uh, Nikita Bedwin will be starting uh, from full position as uh, Tanan. Yeah, we have the confirmation right now on the uh, screen that we have in front of us my dear Chris uh, Tikhon Kariton of the, two, twi the 216 story that got involved in this big incident with uh, the French uh, driver Tom Usen won't be starting again this finale Milano Vantov will uh, unlike him will indeed confirmation that Vantov actually had his car running that's good news for the young Dutchman as he will be starting from the 15th row on the grid Nikita Bedrin is your pole sitter Kayaski alongside him Victor Bernier Gabriel Botoleto on the second row then we have Gabriel Emini Sebastian Gravelin Paul Aram the current championship leader is starting from 7 with Zach O'Sullivan alongside him that will be all over to you Chris this is the finale getting back again Bedrin to the left and Aski to the right across the line we go Aski moving across there was briefly thinking about challenging for the inside but going into second is Victor Bernier Gabrielli Mini has gone through to third place Aaron up to fourth so Aski has dropped to fifth place as we head up towards turn three for the first time it looks as if Alex Dunn is in sixth place then it is uh, Zach O'Sullivan and a huge uh, a big incident once again this time no a uh, huge incident in terms of uh, damage to any drivers but in terms of uh, the amount of victims taken out in it certainly we have four drivers gone it looks as if uh, we have Delano Vanhoff involved, Lorenzo D'Aloisio involved, Comrade Lawson involved and Josh Dufek involved as well as we make our way round turn 8 now for the first time up towards turn number 9. It is the 237 of Nikita Bedrin leading the 227 sorry of Nikita Bedrin leading as they come across the line but Bernier down the inside in front of his home crowd takes the lead in towards turn number 1. Fantastic stuff there from Victor Bernier going through through turn number three they go and another move behind that Paul Aron goes in front of his championship rival Gabrielli Mini to take third place Alex Dunn is there in fifth place having gone past Kai Aski who's struggling at the start and Aron now running wide at the next corner and he's dropped a few positions as Paul Aron he's dropping down the field someone running wide on the exit of turn six it was one of the Ricky Flynn motorsport drivers as they head through turn number eight now and up towards turn number nine two groups of two at the front Guillaume and then a big battle on for fifth what a start of a race is it Chris uh, with one more big incident in the end as the field comes across the start finish line again Victor Bernier leading the way as you said in front of his own crown with uh, less a bit more indeed uh, of one tenth of a second uh, from Nikita Bedrin increasing the pressure to change for third position with uh, Alex Dunn getting past Gabriel Mini in the turn number three beautiful move uh, from Alex Dunn now sitting in third position these are the two drivers you have on screen with Gabriel Mini the tenant driver in the white crash Delivery, making their way into turn six over the hill into turn seven there's a battle going on for first and this, uh, third position yeah uh, as you can see in two turns seven it is very very close between uh, Victor Bernier and Nikita Bedrin Bedrin was almost uh, side by side with Bernier outside of the turn number eight this is uh, quite <laughs> the first time that we get to see it's such a beautiful fight in those corners uh, one of the trickiest certainly in Hesse making their way into turn number two uh, very close between Victor Bernier and Nikita Bedrin less than one tenth of a second between those two then we have a gap Alex Dunn managed actually to increase a bit of his advantage Gabriele Mini in fourth, fifth position for Gabriele Bottoletto, setting up the fastest lap as you can see on screen. This is oh, in turn number five, and the two Montoya, Montoya well, yeah, yeah. off. I was gonna say Juan Pablo, but this is Sebastian Montoya, his son, out of the track in the grass. What happened over there, Chris? And they, I think the two leaders just touched. They just touched in corner number seven. Yes, they have. And look at Alex down in third place. He's closing in on them very, very quickly as we go on to the start finish straight. Alex Dunn has just set the fastest lap of the race in third. So Bernier and Bedrin, who haven't really been fighting too hard either, have allowed Alex Dunn to close in. Fourth place, Gabriele Mini. Then it is Gabriel Bortoletto. Then Hajar, Aaron, Zach O'Sullivan, Chavez Kamada, 
Kittle Small is up nine places into 10th as well. He sounded confident on the grid and he's absolutely flying, as is Lawrence Van Hopen, as is Emma Malay, as is Elliot Veyron, who's gone up 13 places all the way from the back of the field as they climb uphill now for the fifth time. The top three in picture, Bernier, Bedrin and Alex Dunn in that order. In the white crash helmet there, you can see Gabriele Mini, who is second in the championship. Then it is Gabriel Bortoletto, your championship leader and potential champion in a few laps time. Paul Aron has clear air in seventh place. So just in the position that he would like to be as they go down towards turn number two for the sixth time of 20. Alex Dunn looks to be lining up a move here to me. Nikita Bedrin is just slipping away ever so slightly from Bernier. Behind, I think Mini and Bortoletto are going to start working together a little bit if they aren't already. Lorenz Van Hopen has now set a new fastest lap. He's currently up to 12th place having gained 11 places as we head now up towards turn number seven this for the sixth time and Nikita Bedrin starting to fight back he's starting to pull away from Alex Dunn once again all of a sudden Bernier is feeling a little bit nervous as are the home fans who are here to cheer him on yeah, two wins for Victor Bernier, Nicole and Van Hint, and he's now leading the biggest race of the weekend with a battle Watch coming done. up. Watch done. Watch done. Yeah, in the turn number two, it doesn't go, it doesn't take the inside line yet. Alex is very, very threatening, and Nikita Bernier, and it goes for and then oh, oh my big god! Big incident. Done. Huge up, up. incident, and the contact in the turn number three. I think the two cut just slipped over each other. Very, very contact and careful over there with all the drivers. Passing by, this is happening off screen. My God, Chris, one more big incident in this finale. But as we have a look at it from our, our commentary box, both drivers seems okay, uh, especially uh, one of the two. I think oh, it was very serious, especially Alex Dunn. Uh, I think, uh, sorry, Nikita Bedrin. I think we just uh, got run over by uh, Alex Dunn, literally. What an incident uh, happening in turn number three. Oh, big incident there. And uh, Nikita Bedrin, very aggrieved. And uh, I think uh, perhaps has the right to be. It was uh, Alex Dunn making the move and the contact, I'm afraid, was made uh, before they turned into the corner. As much as uh, it... Uh, feels bad to, to say that having uh, watched both of these guys race so well for the uh, whole weekend uh, I had two press conferences with Bedrin uh, and he's been great to speak to all weekend of course done uh, someone I've uh, commentated on back in uh, the UK in the past and uh, I think just uh, wasn't enough space for him to make the move he tried to do it anyway and Bedrin is feeling very very disappointed uh, but uh, the race must go on and uh, Victor Bernier now has Gabrielli Mini trying to uh, chase him down here. In third place then it is Gabriel Bortoletto. Isaac Hajar now is in fourth. He is the French driver. Oh, and another incident. Who's involved in that? Who's that off the track? Is that Sebastian? No, it's one. Is it Lawrence Van Hopen? It is. Van Hopen is off the track then. There was a couple of other drivers that must have been involved in that that got delayed. Yes, Evan Malay was the driver involved in it because he's had a very slow first sector. Evan Malay, that's a shame because he had gained 15 places up until that point. Uh, that is the 203 of Zach O'Sullivan, who is behind Paul Aron in sixth place at the moment as we go on to lap 10. What a race so far. And one more Tonica driver with uh, Lawrence Van Hoopen involved in an incident uh, just after uh, Nikita Bedrin. What a disastrous scenario for the Russian driver. But in the meantime, Chris, what has been happening? Gabriel Mini is back in second position indeed. Half a second behind uh, Victor Bernier, the Frenchman, uh, being the solid leader so far in this finale. And Gabriel Mini, thanks for spotting that, being the fastest driver in the first sector of this track. Uh, shall we see maybe... Uh, fastest lap, actually it's uh, Alfio Spina who uh, just said the fastest first sector on this track, but Gabriel Mini is really on a very good pace at the moment, Victor Bernier could start worrying these are the two drivers that you have on screen the 235, the white crash helmet from Italy, uh, Gabriel Mini really consistent since the start of the season except for a bad result back uh, in Germany on the Amfing uh, track, but now he's back, back into contention and he's really into it, into the pace maybe to uh, go and 
uh, Grimp actually take a victory. That could be the first win for Gabriel Mini this season in this category. We're not there yet. We're halfway to the distance. 20 laps uh, in total. Uh, less than 10 to go. And we're going to have a good fight certainly happening very, very soon. You, you see them on screen. And they and go Gab for it. And yeah. Mini. Oh, Gabriele Mini down the inside of Victor Bernier then. Well, Gabriele Mini takes the lead. What a fantastic move that was. There was uh, just a little bit of will uh, banging along the way as uh, Victor Bernier, I think, wanted to believe it wasn't happening. But uh, Gabriele Mini is in to the race lead. Bortoletto is right there with them now in third place as well. He said, I believe I'm going to win this race. He said that on the grid and he's currently on his way to potentially challenging for a win. Isaac Hadjar is doing a fantastic job in fourth. There he is on your picture just ahead. Small in stature behind him in the uh, blue and white crash helmet. That is Paul Aron from Estonia who would become the first champion from Estonia if he can wrap this up today. And all he needs to do is basically do what he does now. Just stay on track. It's going to be as easy as that for him. Zach O'Sullivan is then next along in sixth. Kirill Small is up 12 places to seventh. Then it's Rafael Chavez Kamara, Kayaski and Luca Griggs so uh, looking at the drivers we've got Mini who should be hanging on to second in the championship with this result uh, Bernier whilst well, so Guillaume keeps his eye on this battle on track as Aaron and goes Paul down Aaron goes yeah Polarin goes and takes the inside line. Sorry, Chris, about that. He takes the inside line. Polarin getting past Isaac Harja in fourth position. This is a brilliant performance from Paul Aaron. Um, I suggest and I think that Aaron has seen Gabriel Amini taking the lead previously. He knows, of course, as they've been making the calculation for the championship, he knows that maybe to be entirely comfortable championship the upcoming title that he might get and he needed move. to get a pass another move from uh, Aaron in, sorry, Zacho this is not Sullivan. Aaron sorry about that this is just behind happening Zacho Sullivan getting past Isaac Arjaro my apologies as they have the same uh, livery from Ricky from Motorsport the field comes across uh, the start finish line again Gabriele Mini extending extending his lead sorry with almost seven tenths of a second uh, from Victor Berni Gabriel Portoletto still in third place uh, quite away from the pressure from Paul Haran in fourth fifth position then for Zach O'Sullivan his teammate Isaac Arja is sixth Kirill Small is seven Rafael Cam Chavez Camaro is eight ahead of Luca Griggs oh, and Thomas move. and contact and one of the uh, cosmic drivers is off there Chavez Camara looks to be off the circuit I think that was Thomas Ten Brink uh, going for the move there and Chavez Camara I think that was yes it was off the track so Thomas Ten Brink I think has lost a place uh, after that so uh, Thomas Ten Brink trying a move and we've seen so many incidents at that very corner Guillaume down at turn number four just doesn't seem to work but uh, out front the leaders have separated themselves from each other now Gabrielli Mini's lead is seven tenths of a second over Victor Bernier who has a gap of half a second to Gabriel Bortoletto I'll tell you what Paul Aron wants to end this championship on the podium he is just set a purple first sector as he attempts to chase down Gabriel Bortoletto Zach O'Sullivan is fifth Hajar sixth Kittlesmall up 12 places to seventh then it's Griggs Tenbrink and Mark Marcus Armand also up 12 places. He is now 10th place as we are looking at Zach O'Sullivan trying to chase down his teammate Paul Aron and a potential podium finish. I was going to say that's interesting to see the two teammates, Paul Aron and Zach O'Sullivan, respectively in 4th and 5th place. Could we expect some uh, team play over that one? As we know, we're still in racing, even though the teammate is still dr racing drivers. But knowing that Paul Aron might actually be able to get the title at the end of this race, could you expect Zach O'Sullivan maybe not to attack him and, who knows, uh, actually prevent the others to try to get past Paul Aaron? So to make sure that with the five points that Paul Aaron has on Gabriel Mini from now, as we still we still have less than five laps to go, then it would be secure for the uh, European Championship. Just a guess, uh, uh, just a guess, sorry, as we've seen happening, of course, in the OK series, for example, back at Hamfing, team play could actually... Uh, decide of the final result as we have the two Ricky Flynn motorsport drivers, the 208 Paul Aaron that you see on screen running for fourth and just behind him Zach O'Sullivan in the same livery. I would go I would go for that kind of smart move in, even though 
Uh, Paul Aaron, as you mentioned, Chris is going to try to get in the podium as he's getting very close to uh, to Bortoleto, the Brazilian driver. You can see them on screen getting into turn number five. Gabriel Bortoleto, 202, driving for CRG. He's going to try to hold his position. Could we see Paul Aaron trying to make the move as they make their way uphill into turn number seven? That might happen over there as Paul Aaron is going to try to take the inside line and go for it. No, he stays behind. I think there was a wise choice over there as uh, Bortoleto was closing the door at the very last minute. Uh, if you were Paul Aaron, Chris, my question, would you go for the move knowing that yep. that can be kind of risky? There's a title at, at stake, of course, for him. He has five points clear uh, of Gabriel Emilie, the current leader. And there he goes, I think. Or was no, it? No, depends. sorry, not that. Yeah. yeah, no, I'd go for it. If, as long as there's a gap there, go for it. If no gap uh, opens up, then don't. Uh, so uh, I think that's what it's going to come down to at the end of the day. Uh, what I can tell you is the virtual championship as we speak. Paul Aron is on 85 points. Gabriele Mini is on 80 points. So he does need to go for it because the gap has really reduced. Gabriele Mini is, uh, of course, leading the race as they head up into uh, turn number seven. There's a slight so contact just uh, happened, yeah. Chris, I think. Yeah, so if Paul Aron were to lose a few places, then he would lose the championship. So really, he does need to get this. He just can't afford to lose any places, so he can stay here. Paul Aron is on 85 points. On 80 points, it is Gabriele Mini. On 68 points, it is Bortoleto. Oh, as Aron loses a place to Zach O'Sullivan. Victor Bernier has 56 points. Dennis Askey, Van Hoff, Griggs, Small, Begnovich, and Tem Brink. So that's O'Sullivan up to fourth. He's now going to try and line up a move on Bortoleto. Uh, so uh, at the moment, Aaron will still be champion. Uh, Gabriel Bortoleto will still finish third in the championship with Aski down in 14th place. Yeah, Baron is back where he was with three points clear as for now on Gabriel uh, Mini, the leader. Three points is not uh, is not much at all, you know. One more drop of position for uh, uh, Paul Harron, and then he could say maybe goodbye to the European title as the driver get into the final lap. Final lap for Gabriele Mini, who's doing the job of his life on his way to victory, certainly in this round of SA. The three-driver battle that you see on screen is for the third place. Gabriel Bortoleto ahead of Zach O'Sullivan and Paul Harron. It seems Paul Harron under a lot of pressure of Kira Small just behind the 220. It is going to be very tight until the very end of the checkered flag as they make their way into turn number five. Paul Aaron is going to have to hold it together until the checkered flag. If he loses one more position that could get him into trouble for the title, Chris, on that one, as Gabriele Mini is going to win that one for sure. Yeah, Gabriele winning one corner to go. All Aaron needed to do was hold position. He's going to do that, but uh, Gabriele Mini is going to take the win here at SA. Across the line he comes. Victor Bernier second. And Paul Aaron is the 2018 European Junior Champion. He comes across the line to follow in the footsteps of the likes of Johnny Edgar, NM Ahmed, Lando Norris, George Russell, Alex Albon, Nick DeVries, and also the likes of Sebastian Buemi and Sebastian Vettel, some real idols. Paul Aron will be following in the footsteps there. You've got to give a lot of credit to Gabriele Mini, who was only three points away at the checkered flag. He gave it a good run at the end. And Paul Aron was feeling very, very nervous, I'm sure, as were the Ricky Flynn motorsport team. But at the flag, Paul Aron is the 2018 European champion. The full result, Gabriele Mini takes the win from French driver Victor Bernier on home soil. With that result, Victor Bernier moves up to fourth in the championship. Mini, of course, the vice champion for 2018. Gabriel Bortoletto is third on track and in the championship as well. Zach O'Sullivan finishes in fourth place. Paul Aron in fifth place. He is, of course, your 2018 champion. So needed when he was down the field to gain some places and did so successfully. Those are... Uh, Incidents that happened ahead could have played a big part in this championship if they were to not happen. Uh, then we had K 